Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back for round two. As always, this is yet again your host, Disco Potato, coming at you live from the esports training room. We're getting ready right here. Just everyone uh, hitting that R button to ready up. I'm not pretty sure they're going to be doing their pro draft unless they already did. I believe they did during break for the pro draft of number two. So we'll be uh, ready to get going. Thank you, Salty Pops, for hitting that R button in the chat. Uh, if I can get a ready from everyone else, uh, that'd be pretty nice, too. So we can uh, get, get, get going, I should say. <laughs> There's Tessa coming with multiple R's. Getting everyone ready. Salty Pops coming with the R spam. Vendor Cast Cast. Thank you. The capital R. I like it. I like it. Snazzy. Stale Cracker. Awesome. Grizzly Sports. There we go. <laughs> Coles can actually dodge stuff, Pog. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Let's see if they get ready to pop on in. Oh, I did see that in chat. We have a Quinn band definitely predicted, um, probably from uh, South Dakota. Uh, that's that's pretty easy estimate, you know. Uh, I I don't know about the rest. Um, maybe a Caitlyn band. I'm not sure. They might stick the other bands uh, as the same. Uh, but we'll find out shortly. Um, doing a lot of good picks. Um, you will see uh, that the teams switch sides after every round. So University of Montana will be on red, and South Dakota will be blue. Um, so the sides have been switched, and uh, there will be notification markers on the top of the screen when we get in the game. Uh, so that you can see it uh, if you ever get confused <laughs> hmm. I feel like we're gonna get a nice nice even game this match I'm I, I really hope we can go to game three you know I'm really looking forward to seeing South Dakota pop off for us um, I, I feel like they were just testing the waters, you know, they were testing waters uh, in the first game. And now, now they're bringing their, their A game, their A game. Ooh, Salty Pops, where is the fiddles? Where is the fiddles indeed? I don't see him playing it. You gotta, you, you, get, you just gotta at Austin, see if he's gonna play fiddles. Get him, get him to do it. Get Coach Jimmy at him to, to make Austin play fiddles. Make him do it. I, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> hmm. Honestly, I haven't seen much of the new fiddles uh, actually playing. I think the last time I saw him was actually in an ARAM match. Somebody got fiddlesticks and wasn't the best he was not the best at playing fiddlesticks uh, I will say but you know what sometimes it just be like that because it's ARAM and uh, yep it's ARAM <laughs> nah yeah I pops salty pops I, I gotta see you playing uh <laughs> gotta see you playing uh fiddles on aram so i can see you pop off like he probably should <laughs> straight from the bush you're right you're right that's true that's true it's just hints from the bush it's actually an inting strategy uh coming from salty pops herself uh getting ready to throw the game as fiddles, 101. Ha 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 ha! All right, we're switching in. They finished pro drafting. And now, time to see what's going on. Lilia is the first ban yet again. Uh, looks like they're gonna keep that same. Uh, Senna 
Is they gonna be the first band coming from the University of Montana? They really don't want that going. There's the Quinn band as the second band, right off the bat. Really targeting Coles in the top lane. Those are his two favorite, most recent champs in the top lane that he's been throwing. There's a Darius ban as band number two. Uh, oh, and there's Volley Bear. Make sure that jungler is targeted. You see LeBlanc as being banned right there. A little back and forth because Coles really likes playing LeBlanc. And I know Archer likes playing Senna. But I think they, they did a counter ban so that way you know they don't try to pick it or they don't try to do something else you know it's sad to see that volley bear ban though such sadness orn is uh very good in the top lane unfortunately he still has very few skins very few skins indeed kale is a good uh pick as well in the top lane from coles kale is just really good in general we see morgana and sejuani coming out and a yone pick as a pick right away we saw it banned as a last ban from university of montana and it looks like south dakota was able to get that Here, pick right off of the bat calls. we see a garen ban after the mid lane irelia pick um as it's going back and forth oh you know what salty you're right that is yasuo what am i talking about that's not yone jeez I'm, I'm I'm just being silly. I'm messing with all y'all. This is my bad. This is my bad. You see a Syndra ban, so it looks like they did decide to do that Syndra ban. Uh, probably in pro draft, uh, they're able to pick out of order and whatnot. So they most likely um, banned Syndra before Irelia was picked. So. That's interesting. We see the Mordekaiser ban yet again going out strong. Is that fear and then, oh, there's the Katarina. Katarina ban. I was very curious because I hadn't seen it been, be banned yet. And I was like, well, Shy locked in Irelia, so it's gotta be. It's gotta be the last ban that's coming out there. Uh, looks like Ash and Set is the bot lane. Wait. No, I think Ash Morgana is still the go. Um, just they switched up who's jungling. Uh, I think Set's gonna still jungle because uh, Morgana can't jungle. I don't, I'm pretty sure she can't jungle. I don't know about you guys. There's some secret information out there that I just don't know about. You let me know. You let me know. It looks like our bot lane is staying the same um, on either side. We have the Caitlyn Lux and the Ash Morgana. It was pretty, pretty heavily one-sided a last game, but uh, you never know. The turntables may have, so, you know, they get going. I am interested to see Set, because they banned Set last time, but this time they had to ban Quinn, so they most likely banned Quinn in the first three, and then first picked Set, so that way Jet Jaguar could not get his favorite jungle. Um, so I'm not sure uh, how the Set jungler will go on South Dakota's team. Um, we'll see if it was actual pick or if it was just a, I want an extra ban, so let me just take Set from you. Um, we'll see how they go. Um, we're gonna jungle potential. I see in chat, Vegicarp, you know, you know what's up. You know what's up. Um, Morgana jungle uh, could be pretty pog. You never know. You never know. That's, uh, that's something I'd like to see. Something I'd like to see. Top lane is going to be interesting. Um, Orn Kale. Uh, quite the matchup for sure. Um, I think Kale wins early uh orn does have some great um uh, some great dash in cc kind of thing going for him and he also is kind of a meatball so um you know he could he could just become the tank and uh go against kale like that mid lane is going to be interesting um Yone and Irelia. I'm. I don't know about that matchup. I know Yone is really good if you know how to play him. 
uh, and I, but I really I can be pretty sweaty if you know what I mean. So like you know, and Shy is the one playing her, so even better. Uh, I can see that matchup going in Shy's favor. But then again, I'm pretty biased. I could see Shy going in. I could see the wins going in any of our team's favor. Bot lane popped off last time, so we know that might be a guarantee, but we'll see. We'll see. You never know. Top lane, uh, also very unsure. Uh, Orn is pretty strong as champion. Uh, we've seen Veggie Carp uh, last year pop off in top lane as him all the time. Sejuani, we saw Jet Jaguar is pretty good at playing that boar riding gal as he goes and knocks up. He had some great ganks, great team fights, um, good just all around. And Aurelia, I've never seen Shy play Aurelia, but you know what? First time for everything. Never saw him play Syndra, but he popped off there. So we got this in the bag. Got this in the bag. I can see it now. I can see it now. Very nice, very nice. 15 more seconds. This one seems to be going a little faster, a little faster, but you never know. That is a good question, uh, Yal, who I don't know how to say your name, but um, yeah, if anyone's from South Dakota here, good time to represent. I love seeing it. We see a lot of back and forth between us and Montana State. Uh, we see a lot of them in chat here um, as well whenever we're doing streams with them. Uh, you're right. It is just Eagle USA. Yeah. Don't worry. I can read. <laughs> Ooh. Switching over here, we're seeing all sorts of back and forth. Off the chat right away uh, as we do I do love this Irelia skin Nightbringer Irelia is ooh, something else all right and the items are bought and the game is starting we'll see what each team decides to do it looks like they're each gonna go for a five-man split across the map um, like we saw uh, South Dakota do last time yep so if we look at the mini-map there, we can see they're all lined up in this kind of wall. Uh, this is really good to stop invasion and to get vision across the entire map. Uh, this is really good for the jungler to know if somebody's up top, if somebody's down below, if they're helping leash, if they're trying to go, you know, either way. Equal <laughs> USA can't pronounce Yone. Oh no. It's okay. Minions have spawned. And Salty, don't you wow Sam me. You know? Everyone has their moments. You know. Oh, Yone is walking in to get that deep ward. You can see on the mini map he got it right on top of the uh, ravens right there. Yone. Yone. All right, great leash here on the blue buff for the Sejuani. Bot lane getting that nice poke back and forth. I do see Archer has chose a different Lux skin because she has a bajillion of them. Um, very interesting Lux skin, though. I will say, I think my favorite Lux skin is the Academy Lux. So I was really hoping to put that in me for old time's sake. But alas, here we are. Bot lane yet again is going back and forth. This is interesting. Um, Morgana jungle is actually happening. Um, I just noticed that by seeing set in the bot lane. Um, so uh, you guys can uh, hack it slash at that all you want. Um, that's go to. Looks like a nice, nice little back and forth poke coming from Aurelia and Yone. Yone. For you, Claire, I'll just say Yone from now on, okay? Um, as long as we're all on the same page here. Um, we do see Morgana going down to her bottom jungle. Getting ready to move around. <laughs> I'm 
around. We do see Sejuani in the over right there. Oh man, getting ready for a knockup. Yone goes and brings it, dashes back and away because he knows what the champion does. And Sejuani gives the first blood to Yone. Switch back. We see in the bot lane, we do see Archers getting popped down by the set. Oh my goodness. What an amazing play coming from the bot lane. Nice spice up down there. We see the unstoppable Yone going, getting poke, and using his ability to dash back to his kind of mirror image ish, like checkpoint mark, landmark. I call it whatever you want. You know what? Let's uh, leave it up to you, folks. Yoni is very interesting. I remember I was playing against, I believe, Coles, actually. Um, we are in the jungle, I was a Moo Moo, and he comes over and he uses his ability to go over the wall. And he thought I would chase him. And I stood by his ability. And then he came back to me, and I killed him. Um, very interesting champion Yone is, that's for sure. See down here in the bot lane, there are some good ward and vision um, going on here. Oh, I don't even have... Clean it up. Clean it up. Clean it up. Ah, uh, whatever. Oh, I do have a little trick for you guys here. Check this out. I'm able to zoom out and we see a great engagement coming from set here, killing Archer 66, giving it to Ash yet again. Oh my goodness, bot lane is really popping off down here. Oh my goodness. Oh, here we see a double engagement on the Shy here. We see Orn, who came down from top lane, switching around with Yone there. With Morgana giving the gank. Interesting plays, interesting plays. I'm not sure if Orn and Yone have permanently switched lanes, but they, uh, they're definitely switched right now. Orn is one level below Shy, however, so... Ooh, Eagle USA, I like the capitalization buff. Oh my goodness, a double engagement knockup stun from the Orn. Getting that nice kill on the Shy. It's not looking good for the uh, University of Montana so far. There are four kills down. Uh, not a single kill for the University of Montana quite yet. Yone is actually pretty even for Kale. I do like this matchup here. I think South Dakota is looking very strong for this round. You know, they got a couple different champions selected, a couple different picks here and there uh, to really set off and going. Uh, University of Montana had a lot of good momentum last game, but this game doesn't seem like they have that same momentum. Uh, let me see some back and forth down there. Mm. I was about to say, I was surprised that he was back in right there, but here we go, he went back. <clears throat> you see some mana loss going from the Kale there. It's true, it's true. Kale does pop off at around 11, where he has the uh, chance of getting that range. Oh, we see a nice engagement from the Yone here going around on the Coles. Coles getting taken out! by Mini there in the top lane. Down here in bot lane, Set is just going off yet again. Here we see him running down the, uh, the Lux, just doing his best to slap her around. Archer 66 is not liking that one. So Dragon is Infernal Drake to start. I don't know what is happening with my client um, due to the fact that you can see our timers are, have vanished, but they are now in the upper left and the upper right of the screen. So, Infernal Drake is uh, in the upper left, and you'll see the timer reset and whatnot there, and Baron is in the upper right. Um, so, a little, little spice up, little change for y'all. Um, but, as long as we have it, as long as we have it. Blue team takes Infernal Drake and Cloud Drake is second, so that leaves us two different dragons to choose from for the, uh, the soul and the map change. Be either 
uh, earth or ocean. Fuck. It's mountain. It's mountain. I've said earth every time. It is mountain, Drake. I was sitting there the first time I said it last in the match. I was confused at myself. I was like, that doesn't sound right at all. Uh, well, okay. I'm glad we could go through this process together, guys. This this is the kind of stuff we look for. <laughs> Interesting pop up there. <laughs> Hashtag Earth Drake 2020. I'm waiting for it. I want to see it. Coles is just getting poked down right here in the early game against the Yone. Very interesting plays. Oh my goodness. What a poke down now at half health. What a dash under turret. Missing Coles. Half health going down. An ultimate comes out from Coles. Goes and gets the invincibility, but doesn't quite secure the kill. Nice ultimate knockup from the Orn to get a kill on Aurelia. Jet Jaguar flashes away to get killed anyways by a Morgana ultimate auto attack. What not? Yone is just going to keep on taking out that minion wave there. And nice ultimate on the double bot lane secure from the Ash. Getting some nice waves too, getting a little bit of poke on the Caitlyn. Nice little back and forth. Looks like Irelia and Kale have switched lanes, knowing that Yone and Warren have done the same. Uh, we'll see how that goes for Irelia to go against the Yone there. We'll see great engagement from Set, pulling Archer 66, getting a knockup. Oh my goodness. Set is an amazing champion, just punching people left and right. He is the billion, 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 billion champion, so you know, gotta punch people. Yone has also switched down back in the mid lane, following Kale all the way around the map, not letting her switch around. So it looks like uh, Orn and, K and Yone really wanted to switch, and they're gonna keep it that way. Uh, they don't really care about lanes, and neither do the University of Montana. Some interesting, interesting matchups going on here. Not at all what I expected, not at all what I was hoping for. I don't think what the University of Montana was hoping for either. Interesting engagement onto the Orn there, taking a quarter of Shy's health, getting a little bit of life still, but taking it back to that hit points from the turret there. Mini is walking around, taking out turrets and wards left and right. Ooh, there's that dragon ward. Drags up in a minute and a half. We see some plays. Some sweet plays on either side. Back and forth. Here we go. Nice ward clear coming through Sedge. Here in the mid lane, we can see two people. And we're gonna walk through it. Oh, nice knock up and then dash back from the Yone right there. Gotta run from Morgana, she's too OP. And we can see a potential engagement here. Irelia taking out a lot of Orin's hit points. Orn is not looking too pretty. Orn has some interesting items that he's building. He built a Bramble's Vest right away. Um, to get Orn now. So, uh... Very interesting, very interesting. He has a Bramble's Vest and the, um, little fire. Uh, to build towards some fire cape or... I think there's something else that I can build into. But he's not, he's not super tanky against Irelia right now. I really has a Blade of the King fully built, but other than that, you know, nothing, nothing fully built on Orange's side. 
Shy is doing some great minion wave clear here. Good damage onto the Orn. Orn does dash away though, kind of predicting that um, Shy was going to use that dash onto him. Good poking coming out from Irelia. Really learning Orn's strategy. Was losing to him a little bit as it started, but now there's going to be another. Ocean. Whew. Ocean Drake does not want to appear this time on the map as the. Cloud Drake goes down and Mountain rises around the map to secure Mountain Drake being the one. But Yone is doing some interesting poking left and right right there to dash back. Jeez, you can do so much stuff with that ability. Love it. Oh, you see Blue Buff is getting stolen by Morgana. Oh my goodness, Kale is popping off, not even hit 11 yet. Taking out Yoni's hit points. Oh, they're, oh my goodness, the dash back, the go in. The set is following, but the chase with the ultimate damage going on to set. Pulling with the ultimate, Kale into the back line, away from the turret. Cole's going down, he's backing, he's channeling his back. Oh my goodness. It was close, it was close. Not really, but it was close. I like the uh, little T-Pose uh, backing animation that he started there. Um, he knew he was going to die. And he was like, you know what? Take me. I dare you. Great engagement from Irelia right here. There's the ultimate. There's the dash in. There's the Orn ult going, knocking up Shy and maybe getting a kill onto Shy. Oh my goodness. So close. Shy almost getting that kill onto Orn. But the burn and the damage after the knockup stun from Orn is just too much for Shy to handle. Here we see Jet Jaguar coming in, missing the Bola as he goes and almost dies to turret and Orn trying to secure that kill. Very questionable play is going back and forth here. Oh my goodness! So much damage from the Yone going on to Kale there. Kale is still not 11 as, K as Yone. Come on, I can speak as Yone just barely hit 12. You see, bot lane's not looking too hot either. As Ash is getting almost. Yes! Archer's able to take out the Ash. And here we see Set not being able to do a lot of damage with that pop for the fist. And he's going down, pulls him, knocks him, almost, almost set. You almost got Caitlyn, but you just didn't quite make it. A lot of back and forth damage, you can see there. It was a very split between them. Yone is coming down, probably going to get this kill right here. Potentially a double kill. We'll see what happens. Oh my goodness, a dash. Archer does dodge. Get that dash around, and oh, there's a kill for Yone. Mini is popping off yet again. Here we see in the bot lane, Aurelia is coming down with Morgana here at the same time. And here we see some damage, maybe? No, no, no damage. They're running around, they're trying to dodge, they're making all that effort. And Yone has to go back from the ability, but Morgana was able to hit him with the stun and take the kill right there. South Dakota's bringing in the heat this game with a 14 kill. Uh, to four kills with a 5.8 thousand gold lead. This is a strong game for South Dakota. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? Blue side just always wins. You know? It's just, it's blue side, you know? You know what I'm saying? Every time. Every time. Alright, here we go. South Dakota's popping off here. But, you know, what, you know what's really going down? Coles has hit level 11. Come on, it's time for Kale to pop off. And carry the team. Coles, I believe you. I believe in you. I, I believe everything. Get Jaguar is getting yoinked around by Yone. Oh my goodness. That champion's just black. That champion's just black, you know? Boom. Kale's hitting him with that damage. Smack, smack, smack. Always ranged. Always a critical. Always a smack. Big damage. Big damage. Lots of damage. Lots of big damage. Mm. Oh my god, this is not looking good for Irelia. Double team. Oh, good flash escape coming from Irelia right there. Shy is able to pop out of there. 
Ooh, good critical yet again from Yone right there on the minions. Three at once. That's something I've never seen before. I love how Kale, when she attacks now that she hits level 11, she takes both of her arms and slaps them in front of her and then slaps them back across. It's like she's a big pair of scissors, really. And just, just throwing her knives around. See, look at that. Let's see if we can see it. She just stands there for a second. Uh, Nope, nope, not gonna see it. I don't, I don't think we can see it. Oh my goodness, third dragon goes to K. Not, oh my gosh. I was about to say Kale, because I was looking at her. Third Drake goes to South Dakota, as they now have three dragons instead. Maybe one away from Seoul. Let's see if we can get that Seoul going. Oh, looks like they found out they have a ward there. And there's the Orn ult knocking up. Now down there in bot lane, Yone popping off on the Aurelia, and then Ash killing Lux to finish it off. But they did get Herald, so Sejuani does have Herald, uh, so they'll be able to do that. Coles is just going, hitting the ultimate budding. Oh my goodness, that was close. That was so close, like. Oh my god, if Kale didn't have that ultimate, I think it would have gone to Yone. That was, oh my goodness. Kale's bringing in the heat. Cole's gonna, gonna pop off. Three men in the top, Kale can just keep pushing bot lane. You can see the ash in the middle. Let's check that fog of war really quick. Oh, they cannot see Ash quite yet. Well, actually, they probably could have. You can see on the mini map there, I'm just seeing it around. This is Red's vision. This is everyone's vision. This is blue's. Yone is on his way to contest Kale. Oh, there's the scissor motion. The scissors. You see that? You see that? That's something else. Something else entirely. He only does so much damage. He's seven and two. Morgana jungle is five and zero. Oh. Is this is this the new meta? Hello. Or an ult going hitting our oh archer flashing out of the Orn ult. There's the ultimate from Sejuani getting the bola stuck onto him, stunning him. Yone killing Kale like it was nothing. Going and popping off, still at full health. Jeez, my Louise. There goes the Herald, going and just gonna kill that turret right there, that's for sure. Just gonna knock into it, just smack it, and smack it. Yep. Called it, there we go. Jeez, I, I don't know, did you guys actually know that Morgana jungle was OP, or is this like, we were memeing, and then we, all of us were just like, Wait, this is a thing now? How, like, how long has this been a thing? Like, Morgana Jungle? I I never would have thunk it. I never would have thunk it. Jeez, I should, I should listen to the wise eagle more often. Eagle! If you get that reference, I, I honor it. You see it in your bronze games. Dang, well, you know what? This doesn't seem like a bronze game to me, that's for sure. Come on, this is the college at champion. For champions. Caught out in 2v1. Potentially a 3v1, 4v1 going in, taking off that damage, popping down shields from back and forth. Whoa, good damage from Yone, as always. You know, Salty, you're right. This isn't a champion's game. There's no fiddles in this game. Yeah. All fiddles, all mid. Is this a one for all? Should I have fiddles? 
Looks like South Dakota is going to be able to take this Baron. Sejuani's there. Oh, he got, he got spotted. He's going over. Oh my goodness, what an amazing steal from Jet Jaguar. He jumped over and instead of focusing him, they focused the Baron and just kept going and going. He was able to steal it with a nice smite. Oh my goodness, what a pop-off. I don't even care if you lose this match. That's That steal was next level, next gen. Jitty Jag! You know, Veggie, Veggie, if you're gonna do it right, you need to spam the A for Jag. Jag, good, 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 good. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Picking up when I'm putting down, Veg? Huh? Oh, what an amazing kill on the set right there. Jeez Louise. Looks like Ocean Drake, uh, not, not Ocean, Ocean Drake. Don't worry, I can, I can talk. Uh, looks like Dragon Soul is going to the South Dakota team. They now have two Mountain Drakes and one of each of the other. Elder is up in the six minute mark. Uh, we'll see if it comes down to that, but I don't know. Best Smiter NA. Easy. Easy. What if the Morgana accidentally smited Sejuani? Think about that for a second. Think about it. Yone just going under turret, smacking Archer around and then dashing back. That's, jeez, talk about a BM champion. That's all, that's all this champion does. Dashes forward, slaps him a couple times. Good ultimate coming from Coles. A nice set hit. Good damage coming from Orn ult right there. Getting a kill on the tower, going down. Kalen is up, Yone is there. He is smelling what someone's stepping in. Jumping around, slapping people around. He's gonna dash away right there. Had to get a kill first though. Oh my goodness, but the damage over time from Kale just popped off. Oh dude, that Orn just barely didn't dash at the right time. That was calculated, that was a Five head orn play right there. That was something else. All right, all right, salty. You're right. This this Yasuo is popping off. He just wind walled like crazy. You know what, Veggie? You're right. There is always a chance they could surrender. They could surrender. You never know. They could throw. You never know. You never know. I mean, they haven't taken any inhib towers yet, so, no. Uh, gotta think positive, everybody. Give me those positive vibes, everyone. Give me them vibes in chat. The hype train starts today. The hype train starts right now. Look at that Yone damage. Oh my goodness. Orn items OP. He has Orn uh, Sunfire Cape and Abyssal Mask. Uh, Pog. Comeback is right. I'm waiting for it. I want to see it. I want I want I want it to happen. Come on, bears. I know you got this. Oh, Archer. Archer. Oh, oh he's getting caught out. He was waiting for the round the wall stun, but then set and walked up to him. Yone is up in their face. We see the ultimate go from Kale popping off right there. Oh my goodness. Yone is just gonna jump in, slap a couple people, and dash out. I'm predicting it. I'm calling it. I can see it happening. There's the dash in, and there's the. He gets slapped around. He's getting slapped. And now he's, he's gone. I was close. Was close. Oh my goodness. Look at all those traps. Look at all those traps on the ground. Been doing some more. Nice ultimate from Irelia going set, pulling her out of the fight. Going back and forth, set is taking out. 
Shy was just taken out set by himself, just walking around. And then he died. Triple kill on Yone. That was the craziest fight I ever saw. Set literally just pulled Irelia out of the entire fight, and then the two of them decked it out while the entire team just fought each other in a 4v4 instead of a 5v5. You know what? Shy got a kill. And that is all that matters. Shy got a kill. It was a, it was a good one for four trade, uh, if I do say so myself. Um, you know, a lot a lot of good back and forth that happened there, but uh, you know, we take it. We take it. Here we see some good uh, good counter plays going, getting them off that second inhib right there. Unfortunately, the mid inhib tower did go down. Did go down. So now you gotta defend it just a little bit more. As we go. Yep, we set. We set. Set. They they lost one, so they had to be set. I feel like University of Montana needs to group up so that they can like just five v one somebody who just happens to be out of place, and they just do that like the entire time. Baron is about to be started here as it's going off. Elder Drake is also up in 25 seconds. So the question is, did University of Montana want to fight this Baron, or do they want to go and take Elder Drake while they're working on Baron? That's the real question here. Let's see if he can go over, and he's going to do some damage. And oh, he wasn't able to steal it this time. If you saw, that smite was a tad early. Very, very sad. He wasn't able to do him dirty. Do him dirty a second time. Elder Drake is up, but it doesn't look like uh, South Dakota needs it because they did get Baron. So I don't think it's going to get taken this game. Uh, we just see Shy getting ulted right there as he goes in with the ultimate himself. Kale is throwing stuff down. She's hit level 16, so this is the time to shine. Oh my goodness, Kale just couldn't get that much damage to go do that. Oh my goodness. Looks like South Dakota's gonna take this win with the burst of the Nexus going down. What a play, what a match. What a back and forth. Good game to both teams. I'm glad that this now 1-1 uh, going into the third game. We go ahead and switch around for the final game we are going to take again a five minute break really quick uh, as we go and get ready for the next match uh, we will see you in a bit stay hydrated as always use the bathroom stand up stretch them legs do what you gotta do and we will see you back shortly